gonna set live on CSET. And hopefully it will show up on Facebook. And of course I already fucked it up. <laughs> well, I, I, I had to mute Twitch because it was like big fucking up the stuff. Anyway, I see Hippo player. Uh, it's it's like hosting that until our gotcha. yeah. until the live shows up. Okay, but yeah, you're putting something up. Uh, okay, I'll need to change this. No, I'll, I'll. it's working so far. Okay, uh, should be going out on uh, Sinset and uh, Twitch TV as well. Which is already showing to Facebook. Now I can spam on Facebook. Yes, let's share this to all the scene channels and beyond. Uh, let me see the Trying to find a way to just see the chat and not the uh, video on Twitch. Uh, you can, yeah, you can just uh, stop the thing and just see the chat. Just pause it. Ah, oh, okay, thanks. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, share to one more page, probably the demo scene page would be useful. Also, our third guest can edit, edit his name, perhaps. Or is that not important? Uh, yeah, um, on on appear in, that doesn't really matter, it yeah. doesn't show up. On the stream, okay. it says the name's correct. Oh, so it doesn't matter, okay, good. Okay, so let's reset the playlist, start from the top. This demo, we already saw it uh, on the last show. It was one of the top two entries on uh, Multimatograph, uh, the Spectrum demo party, somewhere in Russia, I believe. Hello, everyone on the chat. Welcome to another Mystery Demo C Theater 9000. Hey, Jeffrey Spin, long time no see. How's it going, man? Hey, Delta, welcome. This is the power of the spectrum with multicolor. Mm -hmm. The brightest colors you could get. Hey, it, it always beats code of colors, which is like <laughs> bright, bright pink and blue. <laughs> and more pink. <laughs> well, the, there's green here, so these are not code of colors. I can hear like an echo from somewhere. I wonder from where. I got my phones on, so it must be Frankie. Yeah, let me let me uh, fix that. It's really distracting. Sorry. There you go. Thanks. Now with less echo than ever. Hey, Flashy Lamer. Hey, Lizard Mushroom. How are you guys doing? Welcome to the show. We're just getting warmed up, watching some entries which we already saw last uh, uh, show. But these are pretty good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I uh, love this Spectrum scene. It's the best. Yeah, Spectrum always is, 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 has been doing. We we had like a small Portuguese seniors meeting uh, a couple days ago, or last weekend actually, and uh, there was one guy that was uh, originally messing around with. Spectrum assembler, so I showed him some of these demos doing raster effects and was like, oh, what the fuck, this is not... <laughs> How the hell is this possible? <laughs> like, Russian people, man, they have a lot of free time. With a lot of these ZX Spectrum demos, they only work on specific models, so maybe not on the original British one. From, from what uh, Introspect was telling me, they work on uh, 128Ks that we have on the west side of, of Europe, but it needs more tweaks on the code for it to work because okay. uh, 
but it supposedly also works theoretically they should also work on the same way on on uh, on uh, on our spectrums it's just uh, that their spectrums the chipset is slightly different and so it's mm -hmm. easier to have those raster effects but if you do some patches on the code you could still get them to work on our on our um, well on i'm our already spectrums. happy that i can read the text usually in the russian spectrum demo i have no idea what they're saying i cannot <laughs> read it really <laughs> Broken English. <laughs> uh, even even then. In Russian demo scene, English speaks you. <laughs> <laughs> no, not working. Try again. <laughs> so uh, this demo that is playing now is supposedly the winner, I believe, of the Multimatograph. And, um, or I, actually, no, it, it's still the same demo, sorry. So uh, this one got second place. Yeah, this is uh, we're now halfway. Yeah, my bad. I apologize. It seems to be using some kind of uh, inter interlacing effects or something. Yeah. Makes it look makes it look nicer. They have more colors. Yeah. Keep the colors under control. It's a little louder. Have to be one. Zen okay. with the with the with the raster bars. Uh, did mm -hmm. you guys did you guys see that article from uh, Guyon Puet that he was doing some raster bar tricks with the GPU? Yeah, that was that really was weird. Some, uh, some very interesting. I wasn't stuff. expecting that to happen. But, yeah, it's interesting. I, yeah. I have to confess that I don't read Puet. I'm sorry. <laughs> you are you are a purist. But at least I can pronounce it correctly as Puet. Yeah, wet. So, yeah. So, so I get wet's a, a sweat. I get a free pass. <laughs> okay, well, I can summarize what he he posted like some tricks that you can do to get uh, scanned line breakpoints on mm -hmm. the GPU, and you can use it to do similar effects that you would do on the rest of lines in Amiga. And um, he used it to do a few example images, and he's been working with some emulator guys to use mm -hmm. the GPU to simulate. Uh, scan line trickery on on the old hardware so that was one of the benefits of the technique and now he was looking for other people to help him make a proper demo of it for for somewhere this summer probably assembly he was he was talking about so very interesting stuff yeah and he had like some examples on a page and how how it works and so really cool stuff I already have my own projects for assembly so Unfortunately, I'm, I'm not able to help him. Sorry. Are you, are you doing five 64Ks? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there will be one entry in the 64K that I'm at least involved with. Involved with. Uh, maybe two. I don't know. Probably with just one. Oh, okay. I, I'm still looking for Commodore 64 musicians for my project. Oh, yeah. You were posting about that earlier on. Yeah. Was, it, was it today? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, just today. It was like, oh, yeah, true. It's in like two months. I should start. <laughs> and I, I have the idea. I more or less know how to do it. Now I need music and graphics and a custom char set. And I think one day, so it's going to be epic code-wise. <laughs> okay. One, one full day of coding ish should be enough for anyone. Well, welcome, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, the demo that we're watching now is actually the first place from Multimatograph and it was a little controversial because they didn't release the binary code of it. Because it's like a, a gift Ooh. to their newborn baby and only the uh -huh. newborn baby is supposed to have the, the... or the father of the newborn baby is supposed to have the code executable. But they released the video anyways and the organizers allowed that so of course you know the Russian scene, huge drama ensued. <laughs> oh, you don't, you don't need a Russian scene to have drama about binaries <laughs> not being there. Yeah, I'm, I'm in favor, like, if it's released on the party, you should release the fucking binary. That should be, like, uh, mandatory. Uh, Revision-wise, it's something we have actually said it in the rules. It's like, no no binary, no compo. Yeah. We've, we've had some, uh, not issues, but discussions in the past about this. H how do you deal with the people who just submit, like, placeholders and then <laughs> deliver a... The final version, like during the, you don't allow that at all at revision. Uh, no, 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 no. We, we perfectly allow it. Um, 
we we actually like it because then we know you are still working on it. So if you're uh, um, just just uh, upload um, um, demo will come later .txt as a file, we're happy. So we know that you're working on it, and we can send you a message and talk to you about it. I, I think. I yeah. think that's the rule at most of the parties, anyway. Yeah. Not everyone, but not every party, but most of the parties. Well, most of them, because what we what we really do not like is that you know five minutes after deadline, you come up you come up running to the stairs. We are still working on our demo. Can you please put it in there? Like, yeah, yeah, dude. We have you know checked everything. We have made a playlist order, and now we have to shove yours in there somewhere. And you know, so it better be something more than. A one screener and a shader cube. <laughs> well, Which what, is, well, what we had yes. problems with before was like people that the demo only worked on their machine, so they brought the machine there and then they played it directly mm -hmm. from their machine and then they never released the binary or the machine crashed and they lost the yeah. source code or whatever or they just yeah. didn't feel it was polished enough. And mm -hmm. that, that that can be quite annoying. I mean the demo was released, people saw it. You should should have the fucking binary available for other people to try to play it. Yeah, that's something where we really strict it. It has to work on the compo machine. Yes, you are allowed as many tries as you want, and we will help you debug it if we need to. But we are using the compo machine it, it, itself. Um, and then specifically for Linux entries, we enter. You get ten minutes to get it to work on the compo machine. <laughs> <laughs> are you allowed to install like uh, dependency stuff? Nope. I, I really are. I really often like hear combo organizers complaining about it. Oh, there was this one Linux entry that didn't work, or free BSD entry that we couldn't get to work, and it took us like two hours to get it working. Yep. That's 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 it. Well, it um, in in the end we we had um, a Linux entry this year, and um, I have to remain positive because it was a first year from a new coder, and we always welcome is, that. Is it by is it by Porosion? Because he's saying on the chat that he feels targeted. No, 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 no. He, he should not feel he be targeted. But when you know, when when the first thing is yes, I need root access for something. Is like it's not really what we put up in the rules. <laughs> I need root so, access to the yeah, whole whole like, compo machine. Okay, okay, you know. Uh, Let's 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 work with you and get it out there, and so, so you can show it. Um, <laughs> you do have to live with the fact that we will show your entry first, because we need to reboot the Windows afterwards. <laughs> yeah. So sorry, that's something that we cannot help. Okay, so if Truck was no, here, no. and for those who were who arrived late, <laughs> Truck is not here unfortunately today. He he had some stress <laughs> at work, so he he wasn't able to show up as was previously announced. He fucking hates Bad Apple Remix. He thinks these are not demos, these fucking suck. This, like, totally undermines the concept of demo scene. It makes people quit the demo scene. This is horrible. This is the worst thing ever. But this entry in particular happened to win... This entry in particular happened to win a uh, Multimatograph Wild Compo entry. And as you can see, it's a Bad Apple uh, video. And uh, it's working on the BK, which is a Russian machine. So uh, it's, it's a special conversion that, that works, and it's playing it's very well, it's, it's a good conversion, so it, it's a good example of a bad Apple video that uh, that makes stuff. Well, so, at least it was in the wild competition, they didn't claim it that, claim that it, it's some demo or something. Yeah. Like, it's actually a wild entry, but yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, if Chuck was here, he would not be happy, and we wouldn't be able to shut him up for like 15 or, minutes. Or we should get spare truck by now. <laughs> But I, I especially like what they did here. They use like uh, dithering, which most use. Well, the original video from Bad Apple didn't have dithering. It was uh, completely black and white. It had some grayscale tones here and there, like in the flame effect that you saw there. But mostly didn't have dithering, and they used the dithering to an advantage here because they mm -hmm. don't have to encode as much data. So interesting use. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys on the chat think of Bad Apple? Do you think, are they considered demos? Or or is, is Truck right and they should be banished for low all eternity and its creators tortured in living <laughs> hell? I mean, they made something. I'm happy that they made something. Uh, mm -hmm. Even if it's, if it's not a real demo, uh, real demo, but hey, it's, it's something fun. 
It's it's um it's a release. The release is always good. Yes. Yeah. That's that, that's it. And and okay. And in here, it's animation or wild, which is an everything goes category. Fine. Yeah. You know, if you if you if you know, okay, this is now gonna last for for four minutes or six minutes, because you know it's bad apple. Okay, fine. I'll I'll go. I'll get a beer and go and take a piss. In reverse order. <laughs> and that's it. Um, and you come back and you watch the next entry and don't bitch about it. Yep. I'm forced to agree. People are saying on the chat that uh, by those standards all demos should be banished. Well, some have more video content than others. And the main and strife that... <laughs> <laughs> well, the main strife that Chuck had with this was that the content was like not original. I mean, you can... Do a demo video player, but use your own video content, and then it will be fine for drug standards. But what if you're really bad at making videos? You're good at making demos, but really bad at making videos. <laughs> then we're entering gray zone. In the, yeah. end, in the end, these things are proof of concepts. You know, just push them out on as many platforms as you can. Yeah. And once it's done on a platform, it ends. So we, we saw some oh, platforms that had multiple entries of Bad Apple, actually. Yeah, I think this is the third ZX Spectrum Bad Apple or something. So. Yep. <laughs> well, yes, but then, you know, maybe not the first Russian Spectrum. Yeah, could yeah. Be. this is for the BK okay. itself. I think BK. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, sorry, I forgot. Yes, you're, you're right. Yeah. But like, so Atari now. has like three versions of Bad Apple. Well, yeah, Atari, you know. <laughs> it's Atari. <laughs> that's no start. That's no start to play for more. <laughs> that was evil. <laughs> uh, okay, so this entry that we have now is also for the BK, and it's a special sound demo. And if you read what's on the screen, uh, they show like the evolution of what happened with the sound chip of the BK. And I think it will actually have audio in a little short while. It's really hard to read that text. Do we have to expect a multiplayer or? Oh, it's a Kovox, Kovox thingy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And Kovox is a software for them, or what is it? I don't know that. Uh, it was. It's like uh, when you connect to your uh, serial port, and then you get some sound from the serial port. Okay, so so it's like a sound card controlled by serial port. Yeah, but it uses a lot of CPU cycles. Okay. And this is what you can do with it, with the BK. Mm -hmm. oh, sounds like, like a Mega sounds. So it's a mod player. Yeah, <laughs> seems like. <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. Now in 2018, we are proud to present our revolutionary new player that can mix at 25 kilohertz on 4 megahertz BK0011. Okay. Let's see what 25 is... kilohertz mixing can do for you. This... Well, hey, this is you like, should... this is like those it. things where you need the computer and then seven add-ons. <laughs> to have it exactly the same, it's like those Commodore 64 super CPUs with super <laughs> RAM expansion pack, which only works on four machines in the entire world. Because ideally you also have the 1581 disk drive with it. It's a proof of concept! <laughs> yeah, but, but it's like... Even you know, it's, it's, you know, um, a multitude of people can run the bad apple instead of this, you know, the night before the bad apple. Yeah. It sounds good, it's like, kinda, the, has good fidelity. It's kind of impressive because I, I do know that with Kovox here, if you have a 286 computer, it uses almost every all the CPU cycles, so if you are able to get it running on this much uh, slower computer, it, it's okay. I mean, it's nice. Cool work. Oh, I, I'm, I'm not actually doing the Wikipedia thing on the code box. Oh, <laughs> invented 1986. What the fuck? <laughs> the code box speech thing. Okay. And this is for... I have no fucking clue. Let me check. This <laughs> is <laughs> <a> call... <laughs> Also, this is for the spectrum, but I think I think it's enhanced spectrum. All right, I'm not sure. I don't know. It looks pretty original spectrum. Yeah, maybe it's okay. original spectrum. Or like 
128 or something. Well, you know, for, from a skill for one to gas man, this looks pretty scary spectrum. Yeah. But it has some special sound trickery as well because it's playing samples. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. The Atari suits for spectrum and spectrum, okay. <laughs> Six kilohertz digital samples, yo! Yo, I put, I put, I put the chip emulator in your chip emulator. Now you can <laughs> check out the <laughs> Then they have those competitions where right, to put as much as emulates as you can into each other. So that you would have a Linux which would run Windows, which would run an Amiga, which would run an Apple, which would run a PC4. <laughs> They had these challenges, they were a thing for, for two weeks, like, uh, a few years ago. Feels but like uh, Inception kind of thing. Ish, yeah, it's like, how how deep can you go? And I think some some people got like six or seven deep, but then in the end doing uh, I don't know, a, a VIC-20 on a 64 in a 128 in an Apple in a whatever. But maybe it's maybe it's like a a good idea for a fast combo. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. twenty four hours on on the party, go. I think at uh, a BCN party we had this combo, and actually only two teams participated, and one of the teams were disqualified because they are, had already some previous work, and like the combo was specially conceived just for them to use the technology that they had. But they had something like that, like trying to get the most emulators running inside of each other. I don't know which BCN party it is. I wish I had like a Spanish demo scene around to remember these things. What if yeah, you it's, wrote it's your... been tried before. What if you wrote your own em emulators? It would, take a, it would take a little longer than 24 hours, but you know, yeah, you, yeah, might, yeah. you might be a hardcore yeah. emulator, emulate developer guy. But there's like, uh, you know, if you use C, you can cross compile. <laughs> or if you have JavaScript, <laughs> if you can, if the system can't run JavaScript, then maybe you can. Yes, yes. When you get JavaScript to run on an Amiga, I give you a beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if anyone wants an Amiga from, uh, wants a beer from Frankie, you know what to do now. Yes. <laughs> get JavaScript working on on Amiga. Hey, Felice, how you doing? Welcome Hello. to the to the channel. Pick one. <laughs> No, what, what selection you have? Are they all Belgian? Uh, actually, not much Belgian in here. Uh, you're, hang on, let me you're going international. Back. I'll take the microphone. Uh, at the bottom, there's some Norwegian beer left. There's uh, U.S. beer, Blue Moon, Arrogant Bastards, some Belgians, um, British cider on top, Stone IPAs. Oh, random. So yeah. Oh, and uh, two bottles of Mintu. <laughs> That's not beer. <laughs> yeah, it's not beer. <laughs> yeah, but when I put it in the freezer part on top, it gets too cold. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. And you know what's in the freezer. Yeah. We need the space for the schnapps. For yes. the waffle schnapps. Yeah, although it's only just like a little bit left though in, in the bottle that, that's in there. <laughs> Uh, okay, Sounds so like you've been drinking recently. <laughs> Sorry, what you said, Wench? You've been drinking. Uh, because no, you have so little left. Those, those bottles last a, a few years here. <laughs> I see. They've been preserved. So th this is a no, very no, bad they're... conversation to have about this demo, because this demo was made by kids, so they're not supposed to be drinking. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this was, I, I think, a collaboration between uh, XXX's uh, kid and uh, Virtual's kid, I believe. And XXX did the code for this one. And it actually won Outline, I think, the Wild Compo or something like that. Let me check. Yeah, they've been they've been doing these um, Pico, 8. With Pico 8 things. Because they, they also had one at the revision. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, I know that... Um, I think that uh, Triple X kit... And was it together with... Uh, or not? But, um, because I know that um, um, Seven, his wife, and the two kids did, did the thing. But I don't think that was Pico, right? That was something else. But yes, we are we are getting demos made by kids now. We are breeding. <laughs> they multiply. Oh, Chuck yeah. is on the chat. So hey, Chuck, how are you doing? Hope you're feeling hey. better. Oh, hello, Chuck. 
Just sit back and relax. We already went through the bad apple part, so you don't need to get excited about that. We already got it covered. Oh, oh, you can no, just watch the regular demos now. <laughs> maybe maybe we should have like a show where we just watch uh, bad apple video, uh, like <laughs> bad apple, like all the bad apple videos ever, and talk about yeah. the differences between the, the the platforms. That would actually be an interesting show. I mean, technically. <laughs> <laughs> technically. <laughs> <laughs> well, te technically about the machines. <laughs> it, it would be a lot of fun to listen to, but maybe not to watch. <laughs> we right. can invite yeah, some so people that really love Bad Apple and make them start hating it <laughs> after, <laughs> after hearing it 12 times in a row. Yes. <laughs> so here we have the apple, the the throwing the apple in the air, the next demo. <laughs> And this is an entry in 128 bytes, and it was made by Gasman. Also for Outline, this one that combined 128 byte compo and Outline. Ah, oh, nice to see Gasman uh, once again doing something. Mm -hmm. It's like phaser sound. <laughs> Insanity. Only Spectrum makes it possible. <laughs> mm hmm. Uh, we w I want to have like a show dedicated to just uh, size limited entries, as in uh, 128k, 512k, 256k. So I'm, I think maybe the next show will be that. 256k. Yep. I'm, as good. Uh, uh, not k uh, bytes. I'm sorry. You're right. Oh. Like uh, any anything below 1k. That would be an interesting show. Just showing those entries and like talk about the technical difficulties behind them. And uh, different platforms and that kind of stuff. So uh, I'm I'm thinking of setting that one up. I need to confirm with some uh, regular uh, small-sized coders that can uh, be present on the show, and see maybe for the next show we will be able to do that. Meanwhile, we have this entry called Zombies by Guideline. Also for Outline, it got second place in the combined demo and intro combo. Hmm. Really weird. It has zombies. I was gonna. <laughs> you were gonna say that? No, I was. I. I, I can't. Go, um. It looked like Rob Lowe. <laughs> it might. Is, be. is that guy in the background actually a zombie or something? I don't know, but I. I. I just saw Rob Lowe when he was when he was playing in the West Wing. Darkness is your ally. My brain is weird sometimes. You really adopted the dark. Also, the West Wing is. I was uh, born in cool. it. I should rewatch it. By it. The only I way that you can tell it's dated it. is because Nothing you see our TTVs and VHS tapes. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else looks <laughs> like today. I've never actually been to Outline. I've been, I've been meaning to go there for quite many years and I just I just never bothered. I should, I should probably book it like for next year already or something. It's it's uh, it's totally awesome. It's it's I find it sorry that it's so far up north. Else 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 I would go more to this location. I know I've been uh, lucky that the previous locations were half an hour driving from here. Hmm. Now, and now it's three hours, so yes. Come on, the three hours is not that much. Yeah, well then, then you realize that yes, you can drive three hours in the Netherlands. <laughs> Where are the zo zombies? I was promised zombies. I think it's I like think a conceptual thing where all the humans are zombies zombie subconsciously. Zombie. You are the zombie. You're watching. I see, yeah. It's, so, you know, it's... it's it has like a, you know, a deeper layer to it. Mm -hmm. You need to think about it. Yes. And right here you can see how the encoding server would say, and die. <laughs> With all these demos using particles everywhere, like stream encoders really love those. I've said this before, I guess, but we hold like our own little competition to predict at which point in which demo the encoders will crash. <laughs> because of so many particles. Yeah. 
Stock exchange, see? Stock exchange with greetings? Or credits? Oh, yeah, I, I think there was an uh, RBBS greeting in this one, so I, I have to uh, upcome it. Keep your eyes on the ball. No, I refuse! I refuse. <laughs> Keep there your eyes on the mandel ball, on the mandel front. Yes. No. Zombies! <laughs> Every ball is just a bunch of cubes if you zoom out far enough. It's the, the resolution, it doesn't go that deep. Uh -huh. It's a Minecraft ball, that's what it is. Just a cube in the wall. What is that? That's a, some kind of room or something? Yeah, yeah, it's like a cubicle office. <laughs> and, I, and I think I actually... The picture of the guy in the blue suit, I think I recognize it because I think it comes from one of those um, online insurance companies in the Netherlands. <laughs> we probably Stop. saw... Stop. You saw you, you, you from the website? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Zombie. Sound check is hilarious. Something. I'm hearing something on my left side, not on the right side. Yeah, yeah. They 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 do uh, panning awareness. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, this was pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty weird. Yeah, yeah. Uh, apparently, the outline location is gonna move. Uh, next year will be the last time outline is in this location. Okay. okay. I know that the first time uh, we, we, we got there, we were uh, traveling with people who, who haven't been like up north, and they 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 came out and they smelled the cow farms. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's the smell of victory right there. <laughs> but they they came out of the car and said, "Why does it smell like shit over here?" Well, welcome to nature. <laughs> I know it's been long since you ever witnessed nature in its full glory, but this is what that it smells that, like. That, that, there you go. <laughs> the smell of methane in the morning. <laughs> and this is another pretty fucked up demo. It's by a Limp Ninja. And I think uh -huh, it won is, the combo. This is really nice. Looks really nice. Wow. Yeah, they tend to do their, their, their like own specific design that they always put in there, I really like it. I especially like the subtitles. <laughs> well, it, yeah, it, because... It makes sense to contextualize everything. Yeah, Seems like... well, usually right. they, they put um, subtitles in Japanese or Korean there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm really happy that it's, it's English, that they, they have this... Running gag with a party miser that didn't do Unicode properly, so their demo names would always be so <laughs> <laughs> question <laughs> marks, yeah, blocks or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, and then so like nope, nope, still no Unicode. Sorry. <laughs> Link Ninja has been quite active recently, I think. So they've been releasing a lot of demos. That, that's nice. I, I like that. Uh, yeah, I think it's mostly Bruce that's been uh, coding some stuff again. But, okay. um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see Limp Ninja. I'm a fan of Limp Ninja, so it's cool to see them active again. Yeah, absolutely. This this is a really nice scene. I like this. Like a dissection, Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> this is a very fucked up demo. I love it. <laughs> okay, and I don't know where this demo is from. Probably still outline. Well, it's Atari ST, so probably, yes. Yeah. At least not simulatio. Yeah, it's the second place entry from uh, Atari Compo. And apparently it's also an invitation for Summer Hack 2018. That almost sounds like Duskball. Or Italo uh... Disco more than actually Duskball. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is this. Oh yeah, I saw this. This is really cool. Yeah, addictive music in this one. It's really good. Is 
Is that wow. supposed to be an old lady? Who knows? <laughs> but it, it looks cool, so... <laughs> oh, wait. This is like... This is like... This is completely total triple trouble. <laughs> By Rebels. It's exactly the same effect with the same text. It's called Inspiration. Yes. And again, we proved that Atari only copies from Amiga and I shall now be. But, but, but Amiga copies. <laughs> Big now words. From PC yes, demos, so. I... <laughs> and that's it for the show for today. Thank you guys for <laughs> tuning in. <laughs> Truck, if you want to take over, we've had that. <laughs> we dropped a bomb, we can leave. <laughs> yep, that's like, bye, bye, I'm out of here. <laughs>
cool. Uh, I think this won the Atari uh, combo at the outline. So another victory. Yes. Another victory for Decadence, another first yes. place. Yeah. Would people be insulted if I said like Amiga but with lower resolution? <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know, chat, what do you guys think? Is this yes. just Amiga with lower resolution? Or should we order some flamethrowers? Or was it the boring company that was doing some limited edition flamethrowers? We might need some for yeah. the demo scene. They, they are actually not flamethrowers, because you're not legally allowed to call them like flamethrowers. Oh yeah, no, they're, they're like, what, industrial cigar lighters? <laughs> <laughs> or very complex paperweights. Mm -hmm. Or just call them space balls. <laughs> The Atari. Yeah. Of course, now I know that in August, Brightlight will come and talk to me about my quotes here earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I recall in 13th of June 2018, you yes, said, you and said I quote, <laughs> Atari was Atari just Amiga. <laughs> Would you care to repeat that quote <laughs> and compare it <laughs> with, with, against my latest demo entry? <laughs> Is this uh, the plus four? I don't know what the hell this is. What is this? Uh, this yeah, is Waiting for Promised Land. I believe this is a 64 or 616 uh, yes, entry from QB Party. It had, it had a basic 3.5, which is the plus four series. So it's, ah. it's, uh, it's either Commodore 16 or uh, plus four. And looking at the things, I would guess plus, uh, plus four. C16 is very memory limited. Yeah, it's... it's... If you could do something like this on that platform, it would be uh, amazing. I would, uh, yes, I would approve. <laughs> yeah, but this is really still really nice. I think. Yeah, well, it 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 has um it has more colors than a, a C64, but no sprites and no dedicated sound chip. It's yes. it's completely strange. And what there's a reason why it's built on the market. What is a sound chip when you have extra colors? Yes, you know, just look at the VCS. <laughs> Wait, I think they use the uh, seat module still, because clearly this is seat, right? Or is it? Or is it? I don't know. It sounded like seat. Well, I am not an expert in hmm. uh, Commodores, so I will leave the opinions to you guys and people on the chat if you know anything about uh, C16 plus 4, let us know. Because I, I think you can get like a uh, like a cartridge for uh, plus four that you can connect and uh, have seat sounds. Like okay. extent. Mm -hmm. That might be. Or maybe this soundtrack is just amazing. Well, but yeah, you can do it in you, you, you can do it in a, in a software. It has yeah. more or less the same CPU as a C64, so it's it would be not that much of a port. Yeah, it be. Uh, people in the chat are asking where was this release? It was released at QB Party in Hungary. It got first place on the old school demo combo there. Not much competition, but they still won. And it's quite a decent demo. Yeah, it mm -hmm. has different one. effects. Loading and multi part. <laughs> yeah. Once upon a time, Harry dreamed a 4 bitmap sized snake. For a long time, nobody coded a proper scroller for it. Then BSZ, BSZ ported Bitfire to Plush 4, and I can't read it. Faster is catching up. Cool, Lavina said, we will have a decent part in this funny little demo, not counting the giant bitmap scroller by BZZ, which with time grew to six bitmaps, two directions, and something about speed capabilities. Two speed capabilities. <laughs> so yeah, so it's so it's plus four and not C16. Yeah, okay. It, it would have been mind-blowing if it was like Commodore 16. And... Well, well the, the, the only difference is, is memory, actually. Yeah, yeah. But yes, yeah, yeah, like you, you have none. Uh, you, you have to um, 
if you want to load something, you have to load it from cartridge. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we can skip the credits. Oh, are these all credits? I think so. Prepare the fast forward. Whoa, shit, where the hell am I on the... Here we go. Uh, this is the 4K entry from QP Party, the winning 4K entry. Oh, crap. There goes our assembly intro idea. <laughs> <laughs> this is called our coder, Full um, Steam our, Ahead. Our, our coder likes trains. It's like, nope, sorry, find something else. Everybody uh, likes trains. True, but he likes steam trains more. <laughs> There's been trains before in demos. Yeah, I know, but but he, we were like, yeah, no, let's make an intro based on trains. It's like, sorry, <laughs> so let's Too find recent. <laughs> ah, just go ahead and do it. Just yeah. make it better. You're talking about RBBS demos. We don't yeah, have. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Go ahead. I'm gonna move my head wash poster. Hang on, it's shining in my face. <laughs> okay, so this isn't bad for a 4K. The only problem no. is that we've been having so many good 4Ks that this doesn't seem overwhelming right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. Yes. At, least our, at least our trains have more cars to it, so... <laughs> because you'll make a difference. <laughs> and this is the demo by United Force versus Digital Dynamite. Sliced by doing his usual business. This, this demo actually got fifth place on the combo. I was like, what the fuck? Only fifth place? So good. I think people might be a little tired of the formula of Rainbow Clash, but it still feels fresh to me, like, all of them are slightly different. I have to disagree, I don't... What is it? It's going to be the, you know, Mika Dick Nancy, but I don't like this one. What is the formula? Colorful, heavy synths, the music is uh, somewhat the same style. And it's like you're lifting off into a, a transcendental state of some sort. But they all feel slightly different to me. But forget I asked. I don't know, maybe it's like the uh, post-processing and the music that are too similar to me or something. I don't know, something, something like that that really irritates me that it's once again dynamic, dynamic demo. Digital Dynamics, sorry. <laughs> My bad. So, okay, Branch, this is a great opportunity for you to practice. Name a good thing about this demo. Um, Don't say colorful. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is not a really nice one. <laughs> That's not a good thing, come on. Okay, okay, okay. Let me teach you. Well, somebody obviously put a lot of effort in this. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I can see the effort there. But... See? It's easy. The first scene looks very good, like those uh, realistic green things. This is this is nice. I like this particle thingy. The part that I mostly don't like about this demo is the music, when it has those riffs. I don't think those riffs really fit very well with the rest of the music. That's what drives me off a little bit. But overall, I think I really like it. Like some parts, like those rocks before, didn't look very well polished, but overall the demo has, looks like it has very good looking scenes. I, I was shocked this only got 5th place, I thought this would definitely just win uh, the combo, but well, it is what it is, and people vote what they vote. Let's take a look at the 4th place demo, which is Confront Zone by Iridium and Green Room. I like what the music was trying to do here. Like it was yeah. a little bit influenced by Brodom States. This is music by yeah. Max, of course, and he knows a lot of demo scene stuff. 
Like how do you know, how do you fix for gay from back in the day? This is just a demo. Yeah, the intro. Oh. Yeah, I think the music is really good. This is the stuff that I listen to every day. So. <laughs> yeah, the whole demo could have been done in 64K if you bothered aiming for 64K. It doesn't have any significant graphics or assets to justify being a demo. Yeah, but you do what you do, so it's fun for a demo as well. Yeah, this... Okay, I have to see this on my computer. This looks really awesome. I haven't seen this before. One complaint, one complaint is that it's uh, black and white. I'm getting tired of the black and white. I mean, it's fine if you have some scenes that are really like mono, monochromatic or something, but I would wish them to be more uh, colorful, maybe. I'm getting more tired of those demos that are clearly black and white and then they just tint with one color, like either blue or green. Like, it's oh. not black and white, we have color! It's only the, always the same color. That's a bit Ooh, just cheap. like uh, our demos. <laughs> <laughs> Felix is asking if this was the demo that Giorgio Moroder stole the, the visuals for. No, that was ASD <laughs> demo. That was spin by ASD. <laughs> And technically speaking, it was not Giorgio, it was the company that was doing visuals for for his video that, that yes. did that. But I stole Giorgio Moroder's music for an invitation for an Helsinki pub meet once, so it's fine. Yeah, we, got it. we got it squared <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, did for that. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the third place demo, Volna, by The Adjective. Seems to be kind of uh, influenced by people, people's uh, videos or something like the VA checks stuff. So. Oh, the melody reminds me of Ravix. Oh yeah, that song, yeah. I think this is and Nags again. I, I don't really like the rendering on this, it feels so raw, like it's missing post-process or something. I don't know what's missing, but it, it feels... it doesn't feel it, realistic it's just, enough. It's just, it's just very 2005. Yeah. I like it. It's, it's really, it's really shiny, but it's okay. This is, it's okay. This is for what I would call a flyby demo, really well done. Flyby demo? I don't know. Well, there's a 3D camera in there, so I guess it's a flyby. I consider a flyby demo to be like a demo that you, do, you just have the 3D graphics there, but no like effects, really. Where are the effects on this one? Yeah. Well, the bouncing balls and... That's an effect? Bouncing balls? Yeah. Amiga, yes. Okay, Amiga, so no. Amiga made it possible. <laughs> Even I can do bouncing balls on PC, and I mean, I, me, you know. <laughs> I used to make demos in in the in the Blitz Basic, so there you go. Now you know my level of code. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a good language. Well, it was. It was really easy, you know. But then, okay, it is limited, but for for basic things, I, I think. We did some 
breakpoint demos and some things in um, for that um, uh, Brinsley mm -hmm. here. So yeah, I dabbled with the uh, Blitz 3D, so I'm a bit familiar with the language at least. Yeah, it it, 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 it was uh, Blitz 3D, I guess, because. But yeah, it was like really it just like you know um, create cube and ta da and you had a cube. Yeah, that was really easy to it. So as long as you stuck to that, it was like okay, cool. Yeah. Now of course you, you can no longer run the files anymore because I think you can run Blitz 3D stuff still. I don't think that the executables built with it. I don't think they still run. Okay, I have to ask CZ about that. He's the Blitz 3D expert. Or maybe you need to add some random DLL files in a folder somewhere. So that, that might yeah, happen. Probably. Yeah, most likely. Well, one thing I liked about that demo is that it was different from the usual style that the adjective does. They usually do it like very surrealistic style, and this one was completely different from that. So it's fresh yeah. for them as a group. I like uh, it. This one is called Castaway and it's by DGD, as you can see on the screen. And this one got placed second at QB Party Double Comp. I really like this one when I first saw it. A very good ambient to it. I'm listening to the music. Really good. Like simple effect, but it really works well. Yeah. It's like a voxel landscape. Well, actually, technically it is, I guess. Did you say voxels? We have voxels. How many voxels do you want? One billion. <laughs> One million. <laughs> Yeah, even Amiga can do that. Maybe a hard number now. <laughs> Looking at you, bright light. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> if you need quotes, you know, get, get a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's that famous painting. Yeah, yeah. From, was it Van Gogh? Sorry that I'm not comment commenting on this demo because it's really interesting. You're, you're, you're counting voxels, I get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does it really have one billion? <laughs> I, this red part was one that I didn't really like. It didn't feel like it, didn't feel like it connected with the music, the transition. Uh, mm -hmm. I so. felt it worked with the music chains. There was a, a clear bridge there or something. Yeah. I disagree. Okay. Nobody is saying that this one uh, is one of the best demos from this year. Okay. Yeah. I would agree. Yeah. I'm curious how the Finnish scene developed this whole cult for ambient demos. It doesn't really seem to follow that well into the rest of Europe, but Finnish seniors seem to have like a, uh, a conscious agreement to really like ambient stuff a lot more. Which is cool, because I like ambient stuff as well. I, I cannot comment on that, but I do know that a lot of Finnish people, a lot of Finnish seniors don't like second reality, even though it's uh, made by Finns. Don't get me started on second reality. <laughs> <laughs> it just rips off Amiga demos. I got an interesting question the other day. Uh, one of my viewers on, on YouTube asked me uh, to name five uh, technically breaking demos from 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 overall. And I started by saying uh, Desert Dream, Second Reality, the product, mm. and then I don't remember something else and Debris in the end. So what would your suggestions be? I guess Frankie maybe first. Um, look just go for the very first 
Amiga Trackmos, you know, like um, uh, Enigma comes to mind as first, but it, it was not the first one that uh, did that. Um, also, um, just because of the existence of it, I'm going to throw in the Red Sector Mega Demo, not because it's, it has any technical oomph, which was really great, but uh, on its own. And... Um, are you going to go all Amiga? Mostly, yes. I'm going to go uh, all Amiga. Um, unless there are some of the uh, C64 Smash Designs demos uh, from my IAG with a lot of, you know, the first, like, usable, quick um, rate racings and shit. Okay. And you won't, you wouldn't consider any uh, 4K stuff like from the PC and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, elevated. That was another intro that I mentioned. Like a technical achievement thing. You wouldn't consider any stuff from PC at all, just because you don't like PC scene or. Uh, no, I'm just. Um, I got into the PC scene pretty late. Mm -hmm. So um, most of the like really tech stuff that, that you know was. Um, changing for me is that you um, debris because of technicalities, um, etc. And uh, some ASD stuff, which is just, just just blends in together really nicely. But then most of most of the things is I I I've spent my time on Amiga NC64, and I only got uh, to the actual PC stuff all pretty. Late, I think that was only about 10, 10, 12 years ago while I started with Amiga stuff in 91. Okay. Well, what about okay. you, Branch? I guess you, you're only picking mostly PC stuff. So what would be your five top technical groundbreaking entries? Uh, I, I cannot mention them all by name, but maybe you can help me. What was the first track mode demo on Amiga? It's, it has like it's, a timer. It's, it's, it's a mental hangover was, was the first one. It, it says so in, in the chat, which is correct. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. I couldn't find. So yes, that one was like the, the first put in a disc and don't touch it. Yeah, it has a really bad, really bad music, but it's technically it's impressive. Yeah, that's why um, uh, uh, Enigma is better. It has kick-ass music. Mm -hmm. uh, then I would say maybe, even though it's lying a lot, it's uh, dope. Dope is also a really good one mm -hmm. on Amazon uh, because it has some really like nice effects, and even though it, the demo is clearly lying to you, but <laughs> it's really like. Technically, I can't stop. Uh, then I would say maybe the uh, Fairlight demo from 2006, oh, 64K, 64K, but I'm trying to remember. Uh, Dead Ringer. Dead Ringer. That's, that's I, I thought you would mention Panic Room, because Panic Room felt more like technically advanced. Yeah, I, I, I'm kind of mixed between them, but yeah, bottom of them are really good. Uh, what else? Uh, Pools by Arrola. Arrola, how do you pronounce it? Okay. So those were the impressive ones. Okay. Uh, what about this demo that we're watching now? We haven't talked anything about it. It's Air by Dilemma, a very old PC uh, group from Hungary. They won first place. That was pretty good. I mean, the effects are pretty nice. The music is all right. I didn't quite. It didn't quite convince me completely, but generally speaking, it's all right. What did you guys think? Uh, it started really well. I, I did like the volumetric clouds. So, they were really, really nice. I like them. Frankie, do you have any thoughts on air? Um, not my cup of tea style-wise. I can, I can see the, the, all, the, all the work that went into the geometrics and all, and all the reflections and, and all the nice stuff, but I like my demos at a faster pace. Okay, fair enough. So that was it from uh, QB Party entries. And next up we have a few from... From what? From Simulatio? Woo! No, this, is, this was something released outside of the compo and it generated some drama because, well, it's Russian. So of course it will <laughs> generate drama. So this is called No Greets for Diver. And if you don't know Diver, he is a well-known uh, Russian demo scener, which does stuff for Spectrum. 
and always What's the story free. behind it? What's the story behind it? I was kind of unclear what the... They were, they were just... Is. They were just... It, it's like a, a, a meme joke kind of thing, because all Russian demos have greetings to Diver. He's always being greeted, so... <laughs> they wanted to do a demo without greetings to Diver. And all right. <laughs> they go through a lot of... Uh, most of, if you check the, the demo, it mentions a lot that they don't feel motivated to finish the demo, and it's just boring to work on it. And everything feels horrible, and they're not even gonna bother greeting Diver. The fucking Twister wasn't won't work. So all the demo has this fuck the demo scene tone to it, which I really love. <laughs> it's like Neil depressive or <laughs> yeah. demo scene emo. Bye Inobo, thank you for watching till far. See you later. The fucking twister. And now it's working. No greets to Diver. <laughs> he didn't help me debug the Twister. <laughs> it reminds me a lot of the uh, other Russian uh, Spectrum demos that which had said fuck the scene, you know? With some very harsh sounds and effects. So this, this one reminds me a little bit of that. But this is a lot more relaxed. I mean, the music is at least like, yeah. chilly. But you can see that the coder is really angry <laughs> and frustrated. <laughs> and doesn't want to greet Diver at all. <laughs> So is the demo an instant classic if it creates Diver, or what's the idea? <laughs> I don't think so, but you know, you can try making your first uh, Spectrum demo and greeting Diver and see how it works. <laughs> Drunk seniors at the party screaming Amiga all day. How can you be so happy? Without grits to die for. <laughs> <laughs> of course, this would not be possible on Atari. Everyone knows that. Mm -hmm. So remember, bright light to greet Diver on your next Atari demo. Especially, you cannot do this music on Atari, even <laughs> though it has the pretty much the same sound chip. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that scene. And that's it. That was the demo. And of course it generated some controversy on Puet, which is always good. <laughs> and this entry was actually released at a party in Sweden, which I'm of course forgetting the name. Uh, Birdie was the winner of Birdie 2018. Nice to see Birdie going active still. I haven't been there, but sounds like a great, great party. And this one seems to be about graveyards. But you know, it has been done before on the Commodore 64, <laughs> but they need to get inspiration from somewhere. And they have like these laser things going, so. Has this been done uh, on Atari before? <laughs> I don't know, but I think VZ will do this on the, the VIC-20. Yeah. But the, the shadows are really good. Oh, yeah. Right. Wait, this is a uh, size limited, right? Uh, no, I think it's just a demo. Okay. Sounds like uh, 64k, but okay. Might be. Let me check. And looks like a 64k. So maybe it was just made at the party place. Yeah. Yeah, it is 64k actually. All right, there you go. There you go. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Really I, I wish. I wish the music was a little bit. Uh, 
<laughs> we'll have a new uh, <laughs> we'll have a new uh, event at at Revision. We're gonna show you a demo, and then you have to, have to guess the file size. <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting, actually. Uh, this is an entry from Simulatio. Branch, were you at Simulatio? Can you tell us about Simulatio? I was at Simulatio, and this year there were a lot of mosquitoes there. Even more awesome. than previous times. <laughs> uh, lots of good entries and uh, fun party, and uh, I hope, to, hope Simulatio continues to be in the future as well. But hopefully there's less mo mosquitoes next time. That's also, all up to uh, global warming. Uh, yeah. Can someone pronounce this this uh, group name? Dentifrice. 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 It's French for toothpaste. Yeah. Which is important. You need more toothpaste in the yeah. Atari. Actually, this because this came second in old school intro after I think yeah, yeah, um, name words for Yumalauta. <laughs> yeah, you have a lot of it, like, uh, and, for every yeah, competition, and, something and, related and, to their... And, and, and it's really sad, because I really like this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, basically, you have a lot of made one entry to each competition that really uh, was a uh, reference to a really old you have a lot of demo years before, uh, that was related to a trip on a yeah, Finnish... Something, Finnish something with a boat. Yeah, yeah. Viking line. And they've been now releasing at every Finnish party something related to that demo. So they make, are making a lot, lots of remixes of that one demo. <laughs> oh, and this is a demo that uh, we made. So. so tell us a little bit about it. What it's platform like, is this uh, for? Yeah, the platform is like uh, from 1982. Uh, it's a Z80 platform that doesn't really have bitmap graphics. It just has this character mode, but we managed to generate some bitmap graphics on the system with some flickering, so we could get some more colors. <laughs> you see, it, you will see it at the end. Uh, we ran out of time making this demo. Uh, we wish we could have done more. But it, it came second at the competition, so it's nice. The graphics looks pretty nice. Yeah, we found a really good practitioner. Shout outs to him. So, and, so. You're, and you're stuck to the characters. You cannot put new characters in, right? No. You're, so you, you have 255 characters in your home and that's it? Uh, 512. Okay, 512. And you have only one uh, channel of sound. So it's, oh, it's pretty much a beeper, but you can actually shift the uh, like uh, hertz. But you cannot control the volume. So. <laughs> Music is epic. <laughs> yeah, it's made by Uzi. Uh, but no, I I watched the YouTube of, of this uh, earlier today. It, it's really nice graphics for the what you what you cannot work with. <laughs> it has a really nice uh, character set. I really like it. It's unique. Why? Is it speeding up or is it me? Uh, yeah, we ran out of time, so I had to quickly come up with some effects, and they are not running full speed. So <laughs> it also slows down the music routine. <laughs> Software rendering. It's a feature. <laughs> Insert Amiga joke. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad. Faster I mean... when you're in Tokyo. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's, it's too bad that we ran out of time. We had a lot of ideas for this demo. Uh -huh. You have to finish at some point. <laughs> yeah, it's all starting again. <laughs> <laughs> I really dig the music that Uzi made for this one. It's really nice. Yeah. And remember, this is only on one channel. Just, you cannot make more sound than that on on uh, Sharp N700. So. Mm -hmm. OK, 
Okay. There's almost no limitations on the uh, like uh, how low the frequency can go or how, how high it can go. So that's nice, at least. So... How low can you go? Bass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. You can go like to two hertz or something. Yeah, this is this hasn't been done exactly like this before. Okay. Yeah, I see what you. Yeah. So you. Okay. Cool. At every raster line, we have to change the character. So... Yep. But you can and do it. Also bigger, also bigger, really fast. Mm -hmm. So you can do the Apple thing here, because you can yeah. do yeah. iOS yeah. graphics. Okay, and I think you got second place with, on the comments yes. for that. And this one that we're watching now was the first place winner, which is an invitation for uh, the, the, the co-joint demo party event celebrating Byte Rapers and uh, the other group that will be named shortly after Byte Rapers Accession. Yeah, Byte Rapers and Accession. They will celebrate their anniversary with a demo party and this demo is inviting you to that. And this was made My for summer us. party! Yeah. Yes. I'm probably going there. Let's see. And it's in the Wild West, apparently. <laughs> the famous Finnish uh, uh, Wild West. It's located in uh, Hervanta, I'm sure. Okay, I need a map. Where is it? <laughs> it's in Tampere. <laughs> okay, yeah. We're like, yay, society, thank you. <laughs> the Wild West, you know, you're not supposed to know the place. <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> The, the music reminded me of that uh, version of, of those that uh, uh. that was made with uh, cowboy guitar sounds. Which was totally epic. They call massive meager prizes. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Not this time. <laughs> or maybe I am. You don't Get see. Get away, GPS is useless. Korsukula. Oh, man, no idea where that is. So, I so, so, badly. so, from what language did you translate, like, magic man's man soup cauldrons into English through Google? <laughs> I think it's Finnish. They have this this very pots where everyone just goes there, and it's uh, yeah. it's like a jacuzzi kind of thing, but you just boil but, in it. Yes, but, but with more mosquitoes. Yeah, <laughs> and more naked fins. Yeah, that that's not an issue. You get used to that. But, but the mosquitoes, ah. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, uh, no. Someone on the chat is saying first cactus twister ever. I think it's been done before, but you know, uh, it, it's a challenge. Mm. If anyone knows any previously cactus uh, twister, let us. It hasn't know. been on Atari before, at least. <laughs> Until Bright Light picks it up. Yeah. And uh, this one was one uh, K, I believe, for the combined intro combo. Made by Uzi of Fitch Feature Crew. Or was it 4K? 4K, yeah. Uh, I think it's 4K. Yeah. Hey, no signal, how's it going? Welcome to the show. Going it's quite simple, but nice looking. Huh? Yeah, the effect looks really nice. Yeah. And I dig the music, like cl club music or something. Really nice. Got, it, it, it got balls. That it does. I think the balls were touching so. <laughs> yeah, so definitely gay. And this is a demo from Expert. And Toby made the music. I, I wanted to show the first place uh, 4K, but there was no YouTube from it, so I'm sorry, Remina, we weren't able to show it. 
but it, it was really good. good. Go check it out. Yeah, definitely. I had same problem with the demo also by Paraguay. There was also no YouTube capture of it yet, so unfortunately we won't be able to show it. But I really liked both of them, both the 4K and the demo. It's still a mystery who who the expert guys, guys are. I mean, nobody knows. No one. Yeah. Nobody. Knows. I think they're Finnish. Aren't they? Yeah. The, aren't they the guys from Bomb Funk MCs? I mean, they yeah, use they their assets be. and their music, so they must be Bomb Funk yeah. MCs. <laughs> I heard that they are really rich or something. They have UFOs in their living rooms. So of course they're rich. I think they like own some companies or something. But let me say, like, three at our group, so that's nice. Thanks, thanks, guys. <laughs> they have balls touching. Actually, balls going through each other. That's some sick shit. <laughs> oh, no, actually, they own balls. They transformed. What the hell? That's what I said. If you zoom out far enough, every every cube becomes a ball. <laughs> Or a dot. Yeah, Nobi, the music might be a little out of sync because I'm uh, playing Watch together on two screens and it might have a little buffering issue. I like how the laser or the beam is still there and the ship goes away. <laughs> well, you know, deadlines. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the beam is still there now. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is the, uh, well, not necessarily the last demo of Epoch, but they are taking a really long break. So, hey. The last planned Epoch demo. I hope they come back at some point. Really nice. The soundtrack is not what you usually get from demo, which is good. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think most of this, or almost all of these graphics are hand drawn, or maybe even I don't know. Most of I, I don't know. Maybe all. But yeah, it looks really nice. It didn't completely convince me in terms of concept, like the music being tight with the graphics. But uh, nice effort, anyways, and the effects look really good. It's my favorite epic demo so far, and I hope they come back at some point. Do I come back, please? Yeah, my, my brain is always assuming that the horizontal bars are somewhere linked to a sound channel and they're not, and my brain cannot cope this. Uh. <laughs> but I hear some sounds that are in sync with those bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's like a spectrum analyzer, I don't know what exactly it is. So at least they are in sync, it's just not the effect you usually see on Amiga, so that's what's throwing you off. <laughs> yeah, no, that's exactly what it is, it's like, I'm just not from all of them. I think also for me this demo is one minute too long. But that's really? perfect. Yeah. Hmm. I think it's just perfect. Feels like it's repeating itself a little bit, yeah. But it's already ending, so I think it's fine. That got second place at Simulatio. And now we're gonna watch the first place, which is Red Smoke by Adapt. My favorite Adapt demo so far. It's really nice looking. I really like this. 
previously my favorite Adapt, Adapt demo was Balance, which I really liked. It was one of the influencers to me to make demos. So nice to see that Adapt is uh, making their best stuff once again. Okay. They've been really imp improving a lot recently, so it's really nice. This is a really good demo. I like it. This scene reminded me of that uh, Fairlight demo. It also had the horses running with the smoke effect. It didn't have a horse, it had a car. I'm pretty sure it turned into a horse later on. Oh, the smoke turned into a horse, yeah, yeah. yeah there yeah. was a car that was turned into it. Yeah, yeah. True. Yeah, kind of similar, I guess. got eaten by the smoke and the uh, oh. eagle just dove into it. <laughs> the eagle is suicidal. <laughs> Maybe this is a political thing because both are symbols from the United States, you know, the horse from the Wild West, the oh, eagle man. is the icon and they dive into the sandstorm and everything is red so I guess the United States is turning communist. News brought to you by Adapt. <laughs> I really like these like weird effects. Uh, this them are like mind bending. Really nice. I like it. And they like really fit the music. I like, love it. It's a kitty! <laughs> Panther kitty. I like that sweep. There was a sweep in the music and that's when the particles flew by. So nice thing mm -hmm. there. Uh, really a lot of details. You really need to watch it a few times to really get all the things out of it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So a trademark sign of that stuff. Like their demos are usually are so messy with so much stuff happening at the same time. It's really hard to... Like at the end of it, you don't really get like a fixed image. They only had like one scene or something stuck in your mm -hmm. mind. You really have to watch it all again and see how it evolves. It's 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 quite interesting. I really like it. But yeah, good work on this demo. Yeah, that's too. I love it. Best, one of their best. Right, their best. And I think that's all we have from uh, Simulatio. Still have a couple more demos or one more demo, and this one is from VIP. It's called Cucube La Praline. It's by Swinger. So what what does this mean for people who don't speak French? Uh, Frankie, can you translate? Well, it, uh, little little cube the uh, chocolate candy. <laughs> <laughs> and this one looks so cute. It's it's it's. I call these demos typically French. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like this, this, this like this like. Um, happy, happy atmosphere and cubes and like, yes, music that's too happy. <laughs> I can't yeah. explain. It's it's this demo says bonjour, bonjour, monsieur bonjour. banana. Bonjour, moi banane, moi suis demo cucu de la praline. Comment allez-vous? It's <laughs> really nice to have like it's really nice to have these really cute demos from the time. Yeah, 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 definitely. So colorful. Because we have a lot of demos that are really like dark and greedy. And and if you look at it, it's 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 a 10 second demo and it's completely wonderfully stretched out to one minute and a half. <laughs> but with, with good camera choices, like this isometric view and yep. nice soundtrack and really like it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to ask uh, Alkama in, in, in the chat, were you looking for new camera angles because you had 10 seconds more of music? 
<laughs> I want to know. <laughs> okay, so that was it for this week's show of enough of uh, Mystery Demo Scene Theater 9000. Thank you guys for uh, joining us. Uh, I don't know when the next show will be. Especially thank you, Frankie and Branch, for joining us. Uh, we missed Chuck. Uh, he, he was having some stress stuff with work, so he couldn't join us for today. Hope you're feeling better, Chuck. Hang in there. And that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, all your comments on the chat. Really great to have you guys around. Thank you also for the Patreon supporters. Garfield, Punctured, Jeff... Paul Jump Up Geek, Yap Mulsi, El Topo, Fulcrum, Pixel Nerve, Paul Falcon, Gerrit Westendorf, and Sidian, who just followed. So thank you, Sidian, for following as well. So see you guys for the next show. Don't forget to check out uh, the, the videos if you want to look back. Otherwise, just you know follow me on Twitter or uh, on Puet or something. Then I will announce the next Mystery Demo Scene Theater at some point in the future. Okay. Thinking maybe doing a one focused on the very small sized intros that, that that should be interesting to to go through some entries because they don't really get that much representation and uh, especially because they're only like usually one minute long or without sound so it gets very ignored so it, it might be cool to have a show just focus on those mm -hmm. so probably might be my next project and uh, yeah that's it bye everyone take care bye. see you next time you guys. <laughs>